march organized by teachers demanding that the school year starts remotely instead of physically inside classrooms on campuses. The teachers held this motor march outside the Union County Public Schools office in Monroe. It is coming ahead of a school board meeting set to take place tomorrow. Now our Genevieve Curtis explains these teachers are questioning if it is worth the risk to go back into the classroom. Well, teachers are scheduled to be back in the building in just two weeks for the first day of school as Union County plans to do a mix of both virtual and in person learning. But today, dozens of teachers asked the board to hold off on that and just start with online classes. We are trying to persuade the board to go to remote learning to start off. Um, we just want to see the numbers come down. Making their horns heard, it's become the sound of protests. Now Union County teachers like high school math teacher Lisa O'Connor wants the school board to listen to their concerns about returning to the classroom. We're all extremely anxious to get back in the classroom with our kids. Um, there's no better way to teach and learn than that and we know that but we want it to be safe for the students and their families and our staff. Several other large districts around the state have opted to start the year all online and teachers hope Union County will follow suit. Parents joined the protest saying they're not ready to send their kids into the classroom yet either. It is unsafe for them to be here at school. It's unsafe for our kids to be at school. I wasn't going to send my kids. I would rather keep them home. In May, the school board voted to defy Governor Cooper's orders and hold in-person graduation ceremonies after parents drove by and protested outside of the superintendent's home. Now these teachers and parents are hoping their message is heard. It makes me feel proud to see that teachers are standing up for their rights. The board chair, Melissa Merrill, sent me a statement today saying it has received feedback from teachers who are comfortable with the decision that's been made and that more than half of employees completed a survey with 86% of staff indicating they plan to return to work. She said the board is extremely proud of the plan for hybrid and virtual academy and asked that teachers speak with their principals if they desire another option. And again, there is a school board meeting scheduled for tomorrow.